Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be covering Hex versus Ethereum. Is Hex one market cycle behind Ether in terms of price performance? Now remember to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of quantitative analysis on the Hex price. Be subscribed by the end of the video if you aren't already. We're almost at 1,900 subscribers, less than 20 subs away. Smash that sub button. I appreciate you watching. And let's go ahead and talk about this for, sort of for your cycle theory, right? So we've seen our our normal hex versus ether ROI from launch chart, which is right here, and it's also on lookinhex.com, and it illustrates the this idea that for the most part, ether I mean excuse me, hex has been outperforming ether in terms of ROI from launch. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do to get this chart, which is again this is scaled to fit via this mechanism of dividing any day's price by the launch price. And so you get this chart where the one level here is break even from launch. And we've covered this in previous videos where, you know, Hex was underwater for the first, what is the first 130 days or so relative to its launch price. So whoever got in on day one, for example, uh, they were actually down up to at the very bottom up to 87% down, which is a lot, right? But at the end of the day, after 130 days, rather, Hex broke even and then was off to the races to have actual ROI from launch, clocking in at 10x, consolidating, and then recently clocking in at over 100x from launch price. Amazing stuff, right? And again, you can see this compared to the Ethereum price performance over time where we had this long, long consolidation around the you know 6, 7x from launch price where launch price I believe was around a dollar or so. And then after a long, almost year of just going sideways, we finally had our run up to, you know, 200 X 90 boom, all the way up to 752 X. And then we've also covered the is hex one market cycle behind Ethereum. We've covered that in a previous video as well, but I have to go, I have to be honest and let you guys know that I committed the cardinal sin of TA. And I think the data was fudged on on that video, the is hex from Mark cycle behind Ethereum. However, it's all fixed. I, I got the appropriate data for the ether price, which was what was slightly incorrect, I believe. And it wasn't off by much, right? But funny enough, it's actually more bullish now with the correct price than it was with with the old uh, old data. And what am I talking about, right? So this is what I'm talking about. Is hex one market cycle behind Ethereum? The way we plotted this was instead of our typical chart like this where we plot ROI from launch rather we aligned by seasons so the reason I'm calling this a four-year cycle theory you know is because Ethereum launched in 2015 it was July approximately and Hex launched in 2019 right and so what we did here is we aligned December 17th of 2015 for Ethereum and December 17th of 2019 for Hex so we've aligned here by seasons and offset by exactly exactly four years and we get this now this is interesting for a few reasons because it speaks to you know if there's potential seasonality in these markets where we've seen for example december historically speaking is a good time to buy ether and it's a good time historically to sell it in the summer or so so just the same way over the course of multiple years, you get this seasonality data for something like Ethereum. We only have what a year and a half of data for X. And so we don't really have much seasonality per se, where you can say this season is generally good. This season is generally bad just because we have limited data, right? However, I did find it very, very interesting because you see certain phases sort of line up when you align by seasons where you have this initial run up to around the 10x region or so and then you had a long consolidation for both of these charts before again you have you seem to have more volatility on the hex price here uh in this region where if ether was going pretty stable but for the most part it looks pretty damn similar if you ask me where again consolidate sort of a year of consolidation ish excuse me and then our run up after day, what is this like day? Almost a year after December. So, you know, around day 400 or so when we actually start seeing our run up into the hundreds of X's. 
And so this is where we are now. And one of the reasons I find this so fascinating is how close the hex ROI is hugging the ETH ROI in the last, what is this, the last 100, 100 days or so, a little less, right? The last few months where, and you almost see the same characteristic curves where you have this dump, you have this kind of slight correction around the same areas, keep, you keep running up, slight consolidation, which we're having now in hex. And again, this, I just find this chart so fascinating because of how close they're hugging now. And that doesn't mean it's necessarily significant, right? This could break off and uh, overshoot above here or undershoot and can, like anything can happen. These are just models. I'm just another analyst at the end of the day, but I particularly like this model because of what I just said, how it seems the hex ROI is hugging the ETH ROI quite nicely here where we currently are. And so what would it mean to continue on? Let's say if, if the hex ROI on this four year cycle sort of seasonality uh, model, what if price were to continue hugging or ROI were to continue hugging the ether ROI perfectly? What, what would that look like? So what that would look like essentially is a run up to the 400 X from December 17th and where we currently are sitting at around a hundred X, let's just say a hundred X, a little beneath 93 X and we're a little beneath five cents. So let's say, let's say just for rough easy math that hex is currently five cents, which actually, what is it at? It's close enough, right? 4.8 cents. So let's say hex is five cents and this is sitting at a hundred X, which means that within the next month or so, if, the hex ROI were to hug the historical ETH ROI on this curve, then we would be looking at a 20 cent hex literally next month, right? And again, the most likely scenario is that this curve is not going to hug exactly as, as the ETH ROI performed. It's not going to hug it perfectly, but we do see similarities. And that's why I'm saying if we were to hug it perfectly, just a thought experiment, right? Ideal scenario, then we would be seeing a 20 cent hex literally next month in June, uh, more specifically in 20 days, right? So middle of June, potentially. And this lines up, right, with the, the Pulse Chain sacrifice launch and technicals, fundamentals are lining up kind of nicely. That's what I like to see. And I like this chart so damn much that I actually added it to the lookintohex.com, right? So when you go to lookintohex.com, this is the this is the home page and all you have to do is go to hex versus eth over here and you actually you see our original roi from launch which obviously hex is ahead you have your performance index which is basically just mapping this uh ethereum price this green curve to align so we can more clearly see uh relative performance so on overperformance, underperformance of hex relative to ether by reducing one degree of noise so to speak by just plotting the you know the ETH price on a line, and similarly now you can scroll down and see this uh, sort of summary and your charts where is Hex one market cycle behind Ethereum? A little explanation of how we lined up by December of each respective launch year for these coins, and then measuring with this sort of seasonality chart. And again, this is updated in real time every time I update the my spreadsheet every single day at the daily close. Again, I'm not perfect. I usually update these around 5, 6, 7 p.m. PST. Um, rare occasion where I, I do it the next day. But for the most part, when, when you look at these charts, they're they're generally up to date at, at least you know in the last day or so. So look into hex.com, a bunch of charts, just added these two new charts. And yeah, this is where we are. So you can keep up to date on any given day and you don't have to rely on my videos. Pretty awesome, right? And real quick, another note I wanted to make here is something that during the bull market, it's hard to kind of visualize, conceptualize this idea. But in retrospect, there's a lot of, oh man, I should have done that. What am I talking about? It's this idea of where we are now relative to the next, let's say, market cycle bottom. So on, on this hex versus ether aligned by seasons for your cycle theory, this is where we are now. And obviously the Ethereum price has done more than this, right? This only goes up to the, um, the you know, the 20 January, 2018 peak, and then a slight downturn after that, but I've yet to plot. And again, I'll, I'll update this over time. 
I've yet to plot the ensuing bear market down to the $100 level or so, and then the recent run up to like four plus K on Ethereum. So I've yet to plot that on these charts. However, again, I will, I will do that. Uh, the reason I'm bringing that up is because I think it's really interesting to see where we are now relative to a potential future bottom, right? And if we were to have the rest of the Ethereum ROI plotted, which again, we'll update this very, very soon, because I'd love to show you what I, what I see in my mind here already is the fact that the next bottom was around this region or so, this hundred level, because, you know, Ethereum was around a dollar. So this makes it over here. So it makes it kind of easy to, to visualize ROI and price. So Ethereum over here was approximately $1,360. So it's, it makes it pretty easy, right? The ROI being the same as the price. And so what that tells us is that the subsequent bottoms we had around the $90, $100 level is around here, right, in the future. And so where are we now in terms of hex ROI is around the 100X level from December 17th of 2019. So what that potentially tells us is that in the future after we assuming this bull market is not over for hex and assuming it still has room to grow and let's say it continues if it were to hug this perfectly go to 20 cents consolidate for a few months blow off top to you know 50 60 cents potentially a dollar at the end of the year what could be the next quote unquote bottom if we were to see a bear market in hex which again uh, we haven't seen how hex responds to a general crypto bear market but we'll see right does hex do bear we don't know Assuming it does, and assuming, let's say, it hugged the Ether ROI perfectly on the seasonality chart, then the bottom in the future would technically be where we are now. And where are we now? Approximately $0.05. Cents. So that tells us that if we were to mimic this perfectly, we would see $0.20 cents in June, so $0.20 cents next month, consolidation between, let's say, 10 and $0.20 cents until the end of the year, blow off top into um you know 65 cents or so is what this chart tells us so 20 cents consolidation between 10 and 20 cents after summer blow off top to 60 cents end of the year and then bear market down to a bottom of approximately five cents so that's what this tells us if the hex price were to mimic the ether white perfectly on this four-year cycle chart we would be looking at potentially now might be the lowest you'll ever be able to get hex ever again and again the next bottom might be around where we are now which is crazy to think about it's like but it's hard obviously like when when bitcoin crosses all-time high of a thousand dollars for the first time reached 2k reached 3k the people you know at 3k during what was that early 2017 it's hard to imagine at that point in time that that might be the lowest you'll ever be able to hit, get your bitcoin for so what was I talking about was this right here, right? Like uh, Bitcoin cross finally over here, crossing its all time highs for the first time. And this is an example to illustrate that. Awesome. We have a new all time high, but it's hard at this time, at this moment in time to realize, oh shit, this, <laughs> this might be the lowest price you'll ever see Bitcoin down again. And lo and behold, if you'd bought there, then yeah every subsequent bottom was actually higher than this which was an all-time high at the time so that's just to kind of further illustrate this idea that this is we're currently kind of consolidating an all-time high territory but it's not too crazy to think that in the future if we do have further leg up for this bull market that this might be the lowest you'll ever be able to get hex literally for the rest of time so just wanted to point that out so again, look into hex.com, check it out. Same same structure as these previous charts, right? Where you have your ROI from a certain date. In this case is again, December of respective uh, launch years. And then our performance index, which again maps the green curve to align. So you can see relative overperformance, underperformance. And you see we are technically a little underperforming, but that's just because, you know, Ethereum was already a little like two over two X above where we are now once aligned by seasons. Okay, so again, I do appreciate watching, leave a thumbs up, hit the bell, we drop videos every single day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.